pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the example of your saints may spur us to a better life, so that we who celebrate the memory of saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus may also imitate without ceasing their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Jeroiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this message came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Stand in the court of the house of the Lord, and speak to the people of all the cities of Judah, who come to worship in the house of the Lord. Whatever I command you, tell them and omit nothing. Perhaps they will listen and turn back, 
each from his evil way, so that I may repent of the evil I have planned to inflict upon them for their evil deeds. Say to them, Thus says the Lord, If you disobey me, not living according to the law I place before you, and not listening to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I send you constantly, though you do not obey them, I will treat this house like Shiloh, and make this the city to which all the nations of the earth shall refer when cursing another. Now the priests, the prophets, and all the people heard Jeremiah speak these words in the house of the Lord. When Jeremiah finished speaking, all that the Lord bade him to speak to all the people, the priests and prophets laid hold of him, crying, You must be put to death. Why do you prophesy in the name of the Lord? This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate and deserted. And all the people gathered about Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Those outnumber the hairs of my head, who hate me without cause. Too many for my strength are they, who wrongfully are my enemies. Must I restore what I did not steal? Lord, in your great love, answer me. Since for your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face, I have become an outcast to my brothers a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Lord, in your great love, Answer me. Please stand. The word of the Lord remains forever. This is the word that has been proclaimed to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus, who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection and the last day. Jesus told her, 
I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Ngayon pong araw na ito ay isa sa bagong perhaps kalendaryo para sa atin sa ating Roman Martyrology na ating ginugunita tuwing July 29. The previous years po kasi, ang araw na ito, inaalala lang natin isa. Si Santa Marta lang. Pero since last year, may decree garing sa Roma na nagsasabi na iba si Maria Magdalena at iba si Maria ng Betania. Dapat lang na itampok ngayong araw na ito, hindi lang si Marta, kundi ang kanya pang dalawang kapatid. Si Maria na taga Betania, yung umiyak at nagtahid ng pabango sa paanan ni Jesus. At si Lazaro, ang narinig natin sa ating ibanghelyo ngayon. And today, we are invited to somehow revisit their story. Bisitahin kung ano ba yung kanilang naging partisipasyon no? noong si Jesus ay nagbiministro pa dito sa lupa. Etong magkakapatid na ito ay napaka-close kay Jesus. Sa anong paraan? Every time that Jesus passes their village, no? especially the Bethany area, no? pumupunta si Jesus sa bahay nila. No? Doon siya tumitigil at tumatambay. At doon din siya nagtuturo. At itong magkakapatid na to na pinapangunahan ni Martha, no? sa tingin ko si Martha yung eldest, no? siya yung punong aligaga. No? Siya yung punong abala kung saan napakagiliw niya no? sa kanyang mga bisita, no? lalong-lalo na kay Jesus. No? Na sa isang portion pa nga ng Ibanghelyo, no? siya ay pagod na pagod na, pero si Maria, no? anong ginagawa? Nakuupo lang sa paana ni Jesus, nakikinig. No? At siya, nagsumbong kay Jesus. No? Hindi ba kayo worried na ako ay pagod na pagod? Pwede bang sabihan ni itong kapatid ko na tulungan ako? No? Nagpakampi no? kay Jesus. No? yung parang dynamic sa magkakapatid ano. And si Lazarus no, narinig natin sa ebanghelyo, siya ay namatay at pinuntahan ni Jesus. No? This is also the only episode no in the gospel wherein it is said no, umiyak si Jesus. No? Jesus wept no? because Lazarus died. No? Imagine kung gaano ka close si Jesus dito sa magkakapatid na ito. So marahil sa pagninilay natin ngayon, no? napakaganda ho siguro talagang pagmastan kapag ang buong mag-anak ay magiliw sa pagtanggap kay Jesus. No? Napakagandang pagmastan. No? Kapag ang buong magkakapatid no? ay, of course, no? nag-away-away minsan, no? kagaya ni Martha at saka ni nakakaroon ng inconvenience. No? But end of the day, no? they realize that they are Brothers and sisters, no? they stick together. No? They love each other and they care for each other. We are invited to do the same no? sa ating magkakapatid. No? Tinatawagan ba natin sila? Kinakamusta ba natin sila? O baka, manan, baka naman nag-away-away na kayo dahil sa mana. Kami ho, eh, nag-aaway-aaway kami sa mana. No? Yung manang sakit, no? Mga diabetes, no? Sana pera na lang ang pinamana, no? 
Pero sa tagpo sa ating ibanghelyo ngayon at sa ating pagninilay, no? nawa ito yung values no? na susundan natin. The value of first being hospitable no? when Jesus comes. That we know no? that when Jesus comes, no? He is inviting us to reflect on His teachings. And these three, no, itong magkakapatid na ito, sigurado akong yun ang ginagawa nila. And lastly, my dear brothers and sisters, we're all invited to check also our relationships, especially with our siblings. Nanawa, ito ay sumalamin, no? Kung gaano tayo kaklose sa Diyos, ganun din sana tayo kaklose sa ating mga kapatid, no? Kung gaano natin tinatanggap no, ang Panginoong Diyos, sana ho, no? our blood brothers and sisters, no? ganun din sana kainit ang ating pagtanggap sa kanila. Sa tulong ng panalangin at intercession ni Martha, ni Maria ng Betania at ni Lazarus, tulungan nawa nila tayo na makamit ang klase ng closeness na mayroon sila at ang klase ng pagtanggap na ginawa nila kay Jesus tuwing siya ay bumibisita. Amen. Please stand. On this feast day of the siblings Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, let us remember those persons who serve us daily, and let us ask God to grant them the blessings and graces they deserve. In every prayer, we all say, Giver of gifts and ministries, bless our works. Giver of gifts and ministries, bless our works. That those who work in the service of the church may truly become contemplatives in action. Let us pray to the Lord. Giver, Giver of, of gifts, gifts and ministries, bless our works. That public servants may perform their duties in the spirit of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Giver of gifts and ministries, bless our works. That like Martha, may we be willing and generous in bringing joy and comfort to those entrusted to our care. Let us pray to the Lord. Giver of gifts and ministries, bless our works. That the sick and the aged may find care and support from their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Giver of gifts and ministries, bless our works. That the faithful departed who served in this life may reap the fruits of their labors in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Giver of gifts and ministries, bless our works. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Lord God, we pray for the spirit of service. Let our life and work be fruitful to many, that they may serve as Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we proclaim your wonders in your saints, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as their homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are placed in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown their own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory. Through Christ our Lord, and so with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, saints Martha, Mary, Lazarus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May, 
May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that, following the example of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.